Martin Gilbert, thank you so much for joining us here at Fun Forum International. Mm -hmm. Your hot topic today was fintech. It's this buzzword, it's what we're hearing about. Is it something that needs to be embraced fully now? I think so. I mean, as a CEO of an asset management company, I think you're paid to be paranoid and worry about the, the future. I think complacency would be, uh, would be a bad thing. So yeah, we, we think about it constantly and, uh, and at Aberdeen we've formed a, an innovation committee to really think about the future and the committee is uh, filled with people of the right generation rather than people like myself who uh, are probably dinosaurs as far as uh, fintech is concerned. But, uh, but as I say, we've got to really look to the future and how people want to deal with us in the future. Because that's all changed, customer engagement so different now. What are your perceptions of that? Well, I think the, uh, the issue is we're seeing a generational shift in our client base uh, from over 60s to youngsters uh, in their 20s and 30s. And I think the key thing is they don't want to phone a call center in Scotland or whatever it is. They want to deal with you over their mobile phone. So I think that's where we've really got to learn uh, for the future. So brand is going to be important. The ability to deal direct with clients is going to be important. So I, th I think it's really, really important that we look to the, the future. Your company has actually embraced it and has an innovation group. Do you think you're unusual in that sense? Well, I, I uh, learned that idea from being on the board of Sky. Uh, so I just stole the idea from them. But yeah, I think every company should have uh, a committee or, uh, or a group that are looking to the future and who are the right generation as well. So we run competitions internally about how the future is going to look, what ideas are going to come up. So it, it, it is really vital that you really uh, empower people within the company of the right sort of uh, generation. Because it is a huge market that's not being tapped otherwise as well, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we in the asset management business have had it really quite easy in that we've had a sort of... Uh, a group of uh, clients growing old and don't get me wrong the asset management business is still a great business to be in but we have to make sure that we don't get disrupted or that uh, a Google or uh, Amazon doesn't come in and uh, and take our clients in the future so we've got to make sure we own our clients and it's using the expertise you've garnered over that you know two decades or whatever yeah. it may be to best assist with that yeah I think we're, we're the best people to deal with our uh, clients and as someone said earlier it's a very interesting uh, uh, phenomenon that we're the manufacturer uh, and we're known rather than the end uh, the, rather than the end intermediary we're better known so uh, to take the analogy further it's a bit like the engine manufacturer, which we are, of a car being uh, called the car. So it's a, it's a very interesting uh, dynamic we have. We have the brand, we just now have to use it. Do you think this industry has uh, been a bit lax in its embracing of that as well? Do you think it's been resistant, if you like, and it's finally pulling its head out of the sand, if you like? Yeah, I think so. I mean, look, uh, the, the industry's been a great success over the last seven or eight years while we've had the financial services uh, uh, industry being in, uh, in, in a bad period. So really, yeah, no, we, we have been complacent, I would say. And um, yeah, I think the industry is waking up to disruption uh, because it's there for all to see. And you need to be leading the game rather than behind it. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I think, you know, one of the things I'm passionate about is on charging. We've got to be seen to be uh, more visible uh, on charging. And we've got to lead the game rather than be dragged kicking and screaming by the regulator to, uh, to what the client wants. And that's what modern consumers want as well. Yeah, oh, absolutely. They want absolute clarity on what they're going to pay. They want no complication. They want simplicity. Uh, so I, I think these are all easily achievable uh, objectives for a fund management group. Interesting times ahead, Martin. Uh, thank so. you so yeah, much for joining you. us. Thank you.